Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be doing um, a DIY on how I make a brown tinted lip gloss. So like and subscribe and leave a comment down below and I hope you guys really enjoy this video. So this lip gloss that I'm making, it, I call it um, Brownie Delight. So let me show you my ingredients. I'm sorry, there's like holographic glitter on this, but this is called Swiss Chocolate. I got this off of TKB Trading, as you can see. I really love it. And of course, it's called Swiss chocolate. So of course, my flavoring is chocolate also from Loran Oils off of Amazon. And then of course, my typical bowl and spoon, a new syringe, and a pin pipe by which I will show you how to cut it and attach. And then of course, I have my squeeze tubes over here. And then, oh, my Versagel. Ooh, got my wrist gel off of TKB Trading, of course. And then I have my grapeseed oil. So then now let's get started by, um, first I'm taking my syringe thingy off, putting it over here. So I'm going to have this ready real quick. And then now I'm going to cut the pin pipe for y'all. I think that's how you say it, pin pipe. So I'm cutting this off right here. Uh, right there, yeah, there you go. So that's cut off. And then I cut off the skinny part right here. Yeah, that's good. Then now I'm putting the scissors away so it won't be like in the way of me. So then now I'm taking like the bigger circle and I'm attaching it to here. And then I just do this to try to make it slide more down. And there you go. So now let's get started with the Versagel. So with the Versagel, this batch is actually gonna be um, kind of small. So I'm not gonna put a lot of Versagel. Of course, I still need to put some Versagel because of course it's the lip gloss base. And this is newer, so a lot tends to come out. So of course you wanna be careful. Uh, and also this is kind of this is kind of like a thick gloss too. So yeah, this is a really good amount right here. Ew. Hold up. Ah, there you go. So this is all the Versagel that I have in it. So then now I'm gonna put, sorry for the background noises, but now I'm putting, now I'm putting my grapeseed oil And then, here I go. Now I'm gonna start mixing it, of course, with my grapeseed oil in it. Yeah, so this is like a good consistency. Of course, it's gonna change once I put the Swiss chocolate in it, which is like a mica. Um, so once I put the Swiss chocolate in it, um, the consistency is actually going to get thicker. And then once I put the flavoring, it's going to change also. So see, there you go. This is the perfect consistency right now. So then now I'm going to put, I'm going to grab my other spoon. And now I'm going to put um, some of the Swiss chocolate in it. A little goes a long way, but actually, it seems like you kind of have to put a lot in a way. But yeah has um it's like a glittery pigment which is really nice too okay so here you go and i put it in the middle you don't want to put it at the sides because this will get messy so since this is a lot i'm gonna start mixing it right away as you guys can see and of course you want to be careful with it this it will literally get everywhere so that's why with this part i'm not going to really show you how i mix it because like I said, you have to be careful um, or else you're going to waste the product, by which we don't want to do. We don't like wasting product. So of course you want to be careful with the mica pigment. Because it, like, the reason why you want to be careful with it and you might waste the product is because it will get stuck to the bowl and you won't be able to mix it with the Versagel. So you want to use every ounce of the product oh this looks really good okay hold on keep on mixing it oh now this is pigmented 
There you go. Look at that. But yeah, this is like a really nice. Now it's time to put my chocolate flavoring. And usually, of course, with my flavoring, I do about two caps. With this, um, this is actually pretty strong. So um, I'm going to still do two caps. One, two. There you go. Now that's perfect for this. If it was like a way bigger batch, of course, I would probably need to use like three or four, but this is perfect. Now you want to mix it. Continue mixing it. As y'all can see, and the sun is going down, so I'm sorry for like the light and stuff. And that's some of the flavoring. Whoops. So I always scoop it. If you've watched my other videos, you know why I scoop it in. Because it helps, um, it prevents like the air bubbles, which is really nice. There you go. So honestly, like I said, whenever you make lip gloss, always take your time. Um, <laughs> lip gloss is time consuming. So yeah. There you go. I'm making lip gloss. Alex and them? Um, I don't know. Alex! I'm grabbing my syringe and I'm slowly putting it in there. Of course, I start with the corner, and then now I'm putting it to the other corner. I try to fill up the corners as best as I can. Sometimes it can get really hard, and also depends on just how I move my arm and stuff. So, so sometimes I get the corner, sometimes I don't. So here you go, brownie delight. Yeah, so I'm doing this last one, and then, yeah. yeah, but this lip gloss smells amazing, and of course, like I always do, I'm going to put my website in the description box so you guys can go check out my products, um, but yeah, anyway, so I'm going to end the video right here, I'm just going to show you guys me, you know, putting my little stopper in, and then the cap, there you go, so I put it in. Now I'm gonna put the cap on. And of course, with my um, squeeze tubes, I'm gonna have to wash them to get any like sticky residue off. So then now, put it in here. So right now, I only made two, four, I only made five glosses, but with this, what I have left, I can make it like another five or so. Um, but yeah, like I said, this lip gloss smells amazing. And it's pigmented, a really nice pigment. Um, but yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And of course, check my description box for my website and my Instagram. So yeah, thank you all for watching. And yeah.